stand before my daddies and my mommies, my brothers and sisters this morning. It is my prayer that our coming to the presence of God this morning shall not be a waste of time. In the name of Jesus. I want to celebrate my father in the Lord and my mommy in the Lord, the pastor in charge of the province, the best leader we have in Region 21. Please help me to celebrate them. Hallelujah. And I want to appreciate all the ministers of God in the house. God bless you, daddies and mommies. And uh, our beautiful and handsome choristers and instrumentalists, the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. And the most important person in this house this morning is yourself. I want you to please really celebrate yourself. If your neighbor cannot celebrate, you celebrate yourself. Hallelujah. Praise God. I believe this is English service, am I right? But I hope there's no offense if I sing your last song. Is it allowed? With your permission, please let's rise up. We are going to sing this song. And that song is going to form our first prayer point this morning. Praise God. The song simply says, Oh God. I don't know how to interpret that one. Oh God, come to me in an unexpected way. Aha. That's the best interpretation I can give. Because I know somebody is here this morning. Before the end of this week, God will show himself in an unexpected manner. I 
I have no one letter in my pocket. I'm a good artist. I'm, I'm on kill. There's no money. Looking back, people already killed behind me. What am I going to do? Then I will not call. I say, God, if truly I'm your son, show yourself this morning. Because I think they don't need So the queue was moving and I was moving along. There was no money. I already had a plan. I said, by the time I got there, I will allow them to fill my tank and I will buy the car with them and I will go home and bring money. So I already had my plan. So we were moving. Just a little bit to the gate, I received a call. Somebody said, Is that like the other I said, Yes. He said, Daddy, please send me your account number. You know that kind of a thing, you don't waste time. So that the other person will not change his mind. And already I was in a state of emergency. So quickly I called my phone and I said the account number. The queue was still moving. By the time I was about to enter the gate, I received the alert. And there was a problem at the pump uh, this thing. People were fighting. Hey, I'm the next. Hey, you are the next. Hey, you are the next. Then there was a kind the place was so rowdy and the people stopped selling. I left my car there. I went to the nearby lady here. The person had just sent 10,000 to me. And I went and we threw the 10,000. By the time I came back, they have settled the problem. They said, oh, people should go me. I enter and I feel my time. God should forth himself in an unexpected manner. There is somebody here today. You will not be embarrassed. You come to the person and say, Father, in the name of Jesus,
whenever he said his ministers to a place, it is to a specific person, to a specific family. There is somebody here this morning. I am standing here because of you. And I decree that your situation that is about to embarrass you, the Lord will show up. I 
when the man now collected the prices of all those items, and it was about to be and now told him that you have furniture in, in the newly built apartment. I said, no, you have people, someone that have supplied them. I said, yes, I have a younger brother. And I took him to constitution road in that now we have someone that do that. The man said, okay, after the whole deal, something was about to be submitted for the five million. The man himself was expecting that his younger brother will be the governor of the state. Actually, his brother uh, won the election, but fought of appeal. Three courts now, the Ukaruri again leads to pay him. That was now. Of unmet expectations. Okay, let's take our money. Praise our Lord. About six years ago, I applied for the certificate. I just applied as usual, and I lost. When I went there to collect the visa, I collected the letter. I was just as usual, just with me, and I got the letter. And they said, they said, they get my visa. Ah, you get it. When I call someone, I told my sister, they get my visa. What I ask, you do is make a mistake of your name. Ah, I'm not going to say, I used to get this visa to do it. Ah, and I paid 140,000 for visa. Ah, I said, you better return my money. It's not my fault. You better return my money. 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 You better Praise God. But on that day, when you discover that 440,000 is about to go down the drain, how will you feel? I felt bad. Proverbs 13, verse 12. Frustration of unmet expectation. Proverbs 13, 12. I read from King James Version of the Bible. It says, Hope be found, make the heart sick. Hmm. But when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. Let me read from other versions of the Bible. From New Century Version. Proverbs 13 verse 12 says, It is sad not to get what you hope for, but wishes that come true are like eating fruit from the tree of life. Another version of the Bible, message. You know the Bible called the message. It says, All the mighty disappointment leaves you as sick, but a sudden good break can turn life around. Hmm. All relenting disappointment, or when you don't get what you hope for, the Bible says it makes our heart to become sick. Many people today, the reason for their hypertension is because of unmet expectations. The psychologists say, they say more than 80% of problems in marriage comes as a result of unmet expectations. When you see that sister in the church, she will hold the microphone with three fingers and lift up this very good tone unto heaven. And begin to say, God is you. And you look at her and you say, Wow, this one is your wife. 
You don't need GDP or city players. Only for you to manage this down and you discover that the only time this sister is holding is when she's on the altar singing. The sister you see that on the neighbor. Oh my goodness. You look at her and you say, wow. This is a very neat woman. Only to discover after your wedding that sister cannot even sweep the house. Unless expectation. The brother that teaches his son the school and he carries his son the school outline. He started teaching about marriage and divorce. And you see the way the brother went to the scripture. You say, no, 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 no. If I marry this one, now me and him will get to heaven. Only for you to get to his house. The first day he shouted on you. You nearly had the ground to open and swallow you. And you now begin to say, God, is this one who I will live with for the rest of my life? So the psychologist said, more than 80% of divorce originated from unmet expectations. Why do people don't trust others? It's because of unmet expectations. Because there are people whom you have trusted and at the end of the day you can't tell they were so lying. And only this then happened somewhere, not quite too long ago. A very senior pastor died. And when they went for the wedding service in his honor, two of his relatives were discussing. They said, Ah, we don't know say this man lied to. We think say as if the job of the preach in the church, we think say if I hear and as thought if we take him and we don't have We think say the man is heavy. But the word of oh, oh, oh. she was a thing of fear on men's expectations. What are on men's expectations? Number one, when you ask Expectations about an outcome and get a different result. We call it unmet expectations. When you have an expectation about an outcome and you get a different result, other than what you have planned, other than what you have desired, we call it unmet expectations. Our next expectations number two are the failure to meet all your expectations or the target that you set for yourself. There are many of us sitting here this morning. Ten years ago, if somebody should tell you that you will be in this situation, you will disagree. 15 years ago, 20 years ago, even 5 years ago, if somebody should tell you that by this time, 2019, you will be experiencing what you are going through, you will say the lie. Unmet expectations. Your unmet And sometimes we don't get what we desire. Your main expectation will be from the pastor. Expect my pastor to do this, expect my pastor to do that. Sometimes they go. 
Pastor. Dios va a dar. Ah, mi coche de la batalla. Then you can't have that attention. And you will live your life peacefully. When we expect too much from God. Number two, when we misunderstand other people's situation. When you misunderstand other people's situation. For example, like the sister I told you. Me, I was sick, she was sick, and she was telling me I did not come to visit her. I never tell her that I was sick, I was only apologizing. My sister, I'm very sorry. It does something that you come up. I didn't tell her I was sick. But she didn't understand my own situation. There was a sister. This sister had been waiting on God for the fruit of the womb for over 10 years. And God finally answered her prayer. So she got pregnant. After three months into the pregnancy, one Saturday night, she had a miscarriage. It was so painful on her. On Sunday morning, she did not want to go to the church. But I think that pass of time, she gave me the second thought. Let me go to the church. So she was coming to the church around 8 30 to 9. And the pastor was standing at the church entrance. As soon as the pastor saw her afar off, the pastor started raining wash on her. Can you imagine? You call yourself a worker. You are not at the worker city by seven. You are just coming to the church by tonight. The pastor was talking. His sister could not enter the wall. The sister was just coming up, approaching the pastor. When she did not talk, the pastor hammered the wall with the wall. The only thing was that the sister was just weeping. She didn't cry. You know the difference between crying and weeping? Tears was just flowing. By that she got to the pastor, the pastor was still talking. I will give you a report of suspension. Blah, blah, blah. And the sister turned back. She never stepped to any church in her past. When you misunderstand other people's situations, that is why in most cases, I don't like to hastily judge others because there might be reason behind somebody's action, either good or bad. Number three, why do we experience unmet expectations? I've told you when we expect so much from human beings. Number two, when we misunderstand other people's situation. Number three, when our expectations are for selfish reason. When our expectations are for selfish reasons. The psychologist will tell you that every human being is naturally selfish. Every human being. They are naturally selfish. It's natural. We are born with it. It's a game war. Natural and selfish. So most of the time, all of our expectations are the things we need for our selfish business. Things we want for ourselves. Take for example, husband that is expecting too much from his wife. Is he also giving too much to the wife? Wife that is expecting too much from the husband. Is he also, is he also giving too much to the husband? 
most of the time, our expectations might be for selfish reasons. Let me give us one more point and a job. Why do we experience expectations? Number four, sometimes unmet expectations to be part of God's plan for your life. Sometimes God may allow that disappointment because that disappointment is part of God's plan for your life. When I was ministering during our first service this morning, I told people, I said, if Anna had not waited, she would have not had someone. She can have other children. If Anna was not parent for years, she would have other children, but she would not have someone. The greatest suffering in this world. So many a times, your disappointment that the part of God's plan for your life. That the Abbey told us when he was to go to uh, for a scholarship to study abroad. He went for an interview. The shadow of the interview was sitting all through the period of the interview. And when they woke up the man, they asked the shaman, sir, we are through with this man. Do you have anything to say? Someone who had been in all this man, he asked. I don't know what you are saying, where is anything? Uh, I don't know what you are told my answer. I'm a mathematician, I'm not here for geography. He said, if I'm failing the interview. And he was angry. He left the place sad. As he was coming from the place of interview, that was when he saw one of his lecturers in those days. And that was calling and said, ah, he don't. What happened to you? Why are you sad? And the narrator is going to say, forget about the astrology. I will personally handle your PhD program. It was that program that made Baba to be born again. It was the same program that led him to the Redeemed Christian Church of God, where he became the general of Asia. If he had passed that interview and traveled abroad, Probably he might not have been the general of Asia of the new today. Sometimes your disappointment can be part of God's plan for your life. Let me conclude. How can we react or how should we react to unmet expectations? You know, people react to unexpected expectations. In various ways. Take for example, some people commit suicide. I read some times ago, I think last month, my mom is saying, a guy committed suicide less than 48 hours after his wedding. He wedded on Saturday, I think he committed suicide on either Sunday or Monday. And what was the reason? The wife confessed to him that the pregnancy carrying is not for him, it's for another man. Then he went and hung himself. It's a reaction to unmet expectation. People react in different ways. Even some of us who are sitting here, you have slapped people because of unmet expectation. Some have backed out of their husband's house because of what? Unmet expectations. Some have divorced their wives because of unmet expectations. But as a child of God, how do we react? Number one, lower your expectations of people. Lower your expectations of people. Don't ever say, I didn't know that mother can do this. I'm 
hear this about me. Because when I see you, it is you I see. When you are not with me, if you are in Lagos and you say you are in Abuja, I say yes, but I don't believe you. So, I can hardly be disappointed. Lower your expectation of people. Number two, you cannot control other people's action, but you can control your reaction. So when anything happens, mind how you react. Take for example, the brother that went to hurt himself. Let me ask you, is that the only alternative for the problem? Is that not the only alternative? So control your own action. You can't ask people not to step on your toes. You can't ask people not to do what they like. You can't ask people not to want to cheat you. But control your own reactions to so many people's actions. Number three. If what you are going through, be disappointed your own expectation is the plan of God for you. Accept your faith and keep on praying. Matthew 26, verse 39. Matthew 26, verse 39. Jesus Christ told God, Father, if this cup can pass over me, if you can just allow it to pass, let there be another alternative. He said, but not my will, but your will be done. One of our brothers was sharing a testimony just like my mom said he wanted to travel. The brother wanted to travel and met, in fact, all her hope, expectation was for that travel. And he met disappointment. He was so devastated, out of annoyance, he now went and started a particular business. Today, that business has made him a millionaire. And I was telling him, I said, bro, do you know, maybe if you have traveled, Maybe you will still be watching the body in abroad like others. But see what God has brought out of your disappointment. And lastly, what must you do as a child of God? Thank God for all circumstances. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. First Thessalonians, in all things, give thanks. In how many things? All things. Your husband is a drunkard. Big times. He beats you like a punch bag. What do you do? Big times. Amen. Because that same man can still become a minister tomorrow, and by beating you, you will be able to cancel others who are beating their wives. All things work together for you. <laughs> Today, if an alcohol stands here and begins to testify, I used to be an alcohol and begin to tell all his operation. And today, I'm a pastor. You will stand up and begin to clap for him. But the privilege it was an alcohol, it wasn't an easy thing. In all things, and somebody said, God, I thank you for my situation. Say, Lord, I thank you for my situation. Say, Lord, I thank you for my situation. Let's rise up to our feet. Let's rise up to our feet. Begin to thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Thank you for all the disappointment you have in the past. Thank you for all the disappointment you have had in the past. Go ahead and give me all the glory. You will not answer all your prayers. Thank you for the prayers that is here to answer. 